Hello YouTube, this is Learn Tutorials, and welcome to your 28th GIMP tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how to use some more color tools. So let's get started. First, go to the Colors tab, go down to Components, and go to Decompose. So what this tool is going to do is it's going to take the image, and it's going to take the color channels of that image and split them into um, individual layers or even other images if you want so you can have a representation of the color channel in that image so first you're going to want to choose a color model I think by default it's RGB uh, I like RGB because you know I really don't know any other stuff so anyway and there's basically the only two things you're probably gonna have to worry about is the color model which I always use RGB and this check here decompose to layers and decompose um, well actually this would be decomposed and this wouldn't decompose to layers so if I have this one checked what this is gonna do is it's gonna create a new image and each layer in this image there should be three depending on the color model I chose and each layer is going to be a representation of the color channel as you can see here here is pure red pure blue and pure green so the I'm just gonna get rid of everything else the red layer is going to have pure white and pure black because it's gonna represent values of 255 I believe and 0 respectively because the red was on this third of the image the green was on this third of the image the far right and there were no um, green there wasn't any green over here besides anything that had a value of zero and blue would be right in the middle so there you go let's say I wanted to decompose it again but this time I didn't have that checked what would happen is everything would do the exact same thing except each color channel representation would be a different image not just a different layer in the same image so there that's how that would be used and there's one more thing actually um looks I got that that and this thing foreground as registration color you will never ever 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 need to use that unless you are specifically printing with CMYK it has something to do with like lining up plates or something I really don't know but anyway unless you're printing with CMYK um, you'll never have to worry about that so I can just probably skip that in the video anyway let me see decompose I'm just gonna decompose this to layers so anyway let's say I want to compose this back into an image I'm going to really quickly I'm gonna edit this a little bit okay so I'm just gonna compose this back into an image so if I click on compose right here I get to put the three layers and I'm going to get to be able to choose the color model I want I'm just gonna use RGB I think if you use like a different one uh, you'll be able to get some cool color effects or something and right here are the channel representations so you have the layer that's gonna represent the red channel which the title of it is red so you can have green green and blue and blue okay so if I click OK this is going to happen and it looks really weird but anyway the um that's because I drew like the lines there that's what happened so anyway let me see I was gonna say so, some other stuff whoops I did not mean to do that clicked on the wrong thing I think um, anyway, there's a couple other things. There's a thing down here. I think for like each one It's called mask value. What this means is that instead of using an image as a Representation of the color channel you can literally just choose a value that you want. So if I just choose zero There is no red in the image like all the, the entire red color channel is set to a value of zero so there is nothing so anyway let me see what 
else was I going to say? Oh yeah, you can even like swap the um, let me see. No, no. Okay, good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to decompose really quick then I'm going to compose. So let's say I wanted to switch some color channels around. Okay, let's say I chose the green to be the representation of red and red to be the representation of green. What would happen is that the red and the green would switch places. So as you can see, the blue stays the same, but the red and green will switch places. So yeah, I believe that's it. Um, let me see. There's one other thing I really haven't done, I don't think. Let me see. I'm going to try to compose. Okay, so, yeah, so if you have, um, so if it's not, like, layers, but if you have three separate images that are representations, I think you'll be able to compose it. Why is it not working? should be working. Um, compose. Oh, I see, because it's all set to blue. Okay, that makes actual sense. So if I set the, um, if I'll be able to set this image as the red channel, this as the green, and this as the blue. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, okay, so I never really tried that out before, but now I guess um, I have. So yeah, so if you split it into separate images, you'll be able to do it that way um, sometimes. I think, like you'll have to go through and like make sure the channel is the one that you want. Okay, that I believe concludes this video. I will try to post more often than once every two months. Um, so I guess see you guys in the next one.